Hey guys, so I had promised you um, that I would share the process of writing my wedding vows and actually what I wrote um, with you guys. So I finished writing my wedding vows today. This is my wedding vows. Um, we chose to do our own wedding vows because we are getting married in a private ceremony. And honestly, I feel like when you write your own vows, it's more heartfelt and it actually means more than if you're just, you know, to use the basic, do you blah, 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 take so-and-so to blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, you guys know what I mean. It's just like, all you're doing is saying, I do, and you're not really talking about your feelings or promising really anything that's heartfelt. I mean, yes, you're promising to be with this person through sickness and, and health and all of that, but it's not really coming from the heart. And so I feel like when you actually take the time to write your vows yourself, you actually mean what you're saying. And, you know, I just feel like it's better when you come from the heart and you start your marriage off on a more positive note because it's not, you know, just the situation where um, you're just saying I do. Um, so it took me a while to actually write what I wanted to say. Um, I've been changing these vows over and over again. You guys know, or you should know by now, that I am a perfectionist. And so um, I believe we're like 11 or 12 days from getting married and I just, this is what I'm going to leave it as. I'm going to leave it as these vows. I might change a, like a couple of words because I can't really decide if I want to say it the way that I'm saying it. Um, but I'm not going to like change anything else. I'm not going to add anything else to it. If anything, I'll be taking words out. So, you know, um, but anyways, I wanted to read it to you guys because um, a lot of you guys have been um, with me on my channel through a lot. You were with me through the abuse. You were with me through, um, you know, my divorce from my first husband. Yes, I did choose to get married again, even though I thought that I was never going to end up um, getting married again. And after I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, I never thought that I would find somebody who would accept me even with my health problems. So I'm just looking forward to starting this new chapter of my life and um, becoming someone's wife again. Um, although I already know 100% this marriage is going to be 10 times better than my first marriage. Um, and my fiance and I um, have both been divorced in the past. So we both had um, some issues with our first marriages. Um, so... You know, we're both very, very hopeful that this marriage will be much better and will actually last this time. So <sighs> I'm going to try not to get emotional reading these, but as I was writing them, I was getting emotional. Um, so, you know, it's probably going to be hard on the day that we actually get married for me to read these. But um, yes, <laughs> I'm going to read them to you because I told you guys that I would if you guys were interested. So you guys were interested and yes here we go I'm just gonna read them right off the paper from the very first day we got together you promised to always be there for me and to be my protector and you have never wavered from that here are the promises that I make to you I will always show an interest in the things you do and in your ideas I will laugh with you in times of joy and comfort you in times of sadness I will share in your dreams and support you as you strive to achieve your goals. I will listen to you with compassion and understanding and speak to you with encouragement. I promise to keep myself open to you, to let you into my innermost fears and feelings, secrets and dreams. From this day forward, you will not walk alone. My heart will be your shelter and my arms will be your home. I can conquer the world with one hand as long as you're holding the other. So, whew, um, I feel like, like I said, very emotional, but it was all heartfelt. So 
um, let me know what you guys think of this. By the time you see this video, um, I will most likely already be married. Um, but just let me know what you guys think. Um, and also, if you guys are married, have you written your own vows or did you choose to go the more traditional route? Um, and if you chose to write your own vows, was it difficult for you to read your vows on the day of the wedding? Did you get emotional? Did you cry? Um, I honestly, with my first wedding, I didn't get emotional at all. Um, but we got married in marriage court in Chicago. And so with this marriage, we're actually getting married in the backyard. Um, and it should be interesting. Um, we've been planning this for months now. And I'm just looking forward to having all of the planning done with and actually be married. And then I have to go through the whole process of changing my name everywhere. So... That should be fun, right? <laughs> um, but anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, let me know what you think of my vows. And um, let me know if you, like I said, if you chose to write your own vows or if you chose to go the more traditional route or if you're not married yet, would you consider writing your own vows or do you think it would be easier for you to just do the more traditional thing? Um, so anyways, let me know. Also, let me know if you guys would like like any other information about the wedding, um, why we planned to do it the way that we did, and um, let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see on my channel. So with that, I will see you guys again in my next video.